I'm still living with your ghost Lonely and dreaming of the West Coast Common Sense Radio I don't want to be your downtown I don't want to be your stupid game With my big black boots and an old suitcase Good morning, you bunch of drunks I do believe I'll find myself a new this moment last night where I was having to, Aiden was showing me a mock brochure he made for this little marketing class he's uh-huh. doing in a marketing project, and I had to write something down for him, like a review of the work he did, and I felt so horrible. I'm such, I, my handwriting is so horrible. I just feel like I'm an idiot. <laughs> Are you a cursive kind of person, or are you a printer? No, I, I'm not that. I have, I have, I print and cursive. Yeah, it's mine's a, both. I combine them. I'm just, it, it's terrible. It's embarrassing. Yeah. I'm sitting there with my 11 year old. I'm, you know, <laughs> it, it's, it's, it, it's a, it's a, it's a form of illiteracy to me, and I felt actually kind of embarrassed that my handwriting was so horrible. <laughs> I could, I, I could, could have been a doctor though, yeah. and been able to write prescriptions. Hey, the Gateway Pundit's here. Thegatewaypundit.com. I like to know how bad handwriting develops. I think it's a it's a it's a mental <laughs> thing. I don't know. Hey, buddy, <laughs> your <laughs> your site is full of Hillary Clinton failure. <laughs> it's it's like so great. <laughs> First, where where do we begin? The fact here, she we know she's going to be a great Democrat. If she ever becomes president, right? Because she has blown fifty million on Trump ads in August and dropped ten points in the polls. Yeah, how about that? Rough month for poor Hillary. Unbelievable, but but it's so yep. tip typical of how these guys, even when they're trying to get elected, they'll throw money at a problem and it doesn't work. It certainly didn't work with Hillary. I suppose when she collapsed on 9-11, that didn't help too much. I guess. She was up 46-3 to 41-6 on August 14th, and now Trump is up 46-3 to 42-2 against Hillary. Amazing. Right. I mean, that is... That was before the Charlotte riots. Right, right. Oh, Uh, wait a minute, though. Yes. Trump Trump will go up after these riots. I would think. I don't know, Jim. Have they polled after the Skittle Bowl controversy? Because <laughs> that could have been a game changer. That could have been the straw that broke the camel's back. Well, it's what Americans care about, you know. <laughs> Skittle comparisons. Yeah, the, the Republicans are now meeting behind closed doors to figure out whether or not there'll be a replacement for Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> So, also, by the way, then, let's have another failure. There is another poll out that shows that she has dropped 19 points with millennial voters in oh one God, month. That, yeah, crazy. I mean, this is, uh, she, she's, uh, it's, it's like uh, just free fall right now for Hillary. And that was, uh, that was a uh, pretty reputable polling firm, too. So, uh I can get it to pull up. We don't, we don't know exactly was, where um, they're going. They might be going to Trump. They might be going to uh, cutie pie Gary Johnson, not his real name. Who knows? Right, but it doesn't matter. She needs, she needs the, uh, the voters to come out. This, actually, this was from two polls. It was Quinnipiac and Fox News showed this. So she's, uh, she's in a free fall with, uh, with uh, the kids, and uh, you know she can't win if she doesn't get these numbers up. She just can't. So, of course, we're not going to see that in any headlines. Well, at least her book is going well. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so she... Yeah, she... that was great. Yesterday during her little uh, rally, because all of her rallies are little, um, this one in Florida, she was hawking her book. And, uh, you know, this book that nobody's read, nobody wants to read, it's slid of another 2,000 uh, uh, rankings in the Amazon rankings for bestsellers, it's down to like 5,000 now, 5,400. So uh, n- nobody's buying this. Nobody's buying what she's selling. She's ranked number 5,400 on the Amazon 
bestseller list. I don't even know how that even makes a bestseller list, to tell you the truth. And then, of course, on <laughs> on YouTube, the rally got 97 likes and 1,007 dislikes. Oh, my gosh. It's it's crazy, Jamie. You uh, you watch Trump rally. There's like 30,000, 40,000 people watching his rally on YouTube. Hillary's rally, there was 2,000 watching. And by the time she got done, there was a thousand dislikes and about ninety or a hundred likes. It's crazy. Unbelievable. But enjoyable. Almond in the morning. At Gateway Pundit, the Gateway Pundit.com. Jimmy, thank you so much, buddy. Have a great rest of your week.